Today we'll practice flower vocabulary from the last lesson. First, repeat the words we learned. Die Pflanze, der Blumentopf, die Blume, die Blumenvase, die Rose, die Nelke, die Gladiole, die Orchidee, die Tulpe, die Sonnenblume, die Osterglocke, die Geranie, die Lilie, der Krokus, der Flieder, der Löwenzahn, der Weihnachtsstern, das Gänseblümchen, das Vergiss mein Nicht, das Maiglöckchen, das Weilchen, das Edelweiß, das Stiefmutterchen. Good. Now let's use this vocabulary in sentences for practice. Repeat the sentences after me in German, and feel free to pause each slide to give you a chance to read the English translation. Ready? Was für Blumen sind in der Blumenvase? Notice how die Blumenvase became der. Die changes to der in dative case, and after a preposition of location like in to show where something is located, we need dative case. Let's continue. Was für Pflanzen sind im Blumentopf? Notice again, im Blumentopf, it's masculine, Blumentopf, and der becomes dame in dative case, and in plus dame often contract to im, as we've learned. Let's continue. Repeat this new word, the verb to mean, bedeuten. Again, bedeuten. And ask this question because it's a good question to know. Was bedeutet das? Again, was bedeutet das? This verb will be in our next sentence. Repeat. Rosen bedeuten, ich liebe dich. Ich habe gelbe und rote Tulpen gepflanzt. Notice that gepflanzt, the past participle, is at the end of the sentence where it belongs. And here's something else to notice. Tulpen is, of course, in the plural, and the word gelb in rot, yellow and red, have the adjectival ending e. The plural adjectival ending is an e if there is no der or ein word in front of the adjective. And you notice here, it says ich habe, and it goes right to the adjective. There's no der word, and there's no ein word. Had I said instead, I have planted the yellow and red tulips, then it would have been die gelben und roten Tulpen, because the adjectival ending after a der word or an ein word is en. Let's continue. Repeat. Er trägt eine Nelke im Knopfloch. Die Sonnenblume ist eine sehr große Pflanze. Repeat these two expressions. Die USA. Die USA. Notice it's a plural word. And now repeat at Christmas. Zu Weihnachten. Zu Weihnachten. Good. Now repeat this sentence. In den USA kauft man Weihnachtssterne. Zu Weihnachten. Notice the dative case plural, D USA became Dane. D becomes Dane in the dative case plural. And we need the dative case after the word in. Good, let's continue. Repeat these expressions. Besonders. Besonders. Die Alpen. Die Alpen. Notice it's plural, just like it is in English. So repeat this. Das Edelweiss findet man besonders in den Alpen. Notice at the end of the sentence, I have the dative case, the dative case plural, D becoming Dane because of the word in. And notice something else I did. The English says, one finds the Edelweiss, and yet I said, in German, das Edelweiss findet man. In German, it's absolutely fine to put the direct object first, followed by the verb and the subject, which is what I did in the German version. I could have said, man findet das Edelweiss, etc., 
but I chose to say, Das Edelweiss findet man, and continue with the sentence. As long as the verb is the second element of the sentence, and it is, it's not the second word, but the second element, then this works perfectly fine. Let's continue. Es gibt Gladiolen und Geranien in meinem Garten. Notice again, in meinem Garten, dative case, mein becomes meinem after the word in. Good. Das ist eine schöne Orchidee. Das ist kein Gänseblümchen, das ist ein Löwenzahn. Repeat these. Blühen. Again, blühen. Von bis. Von bis. These will show up in the next sentence. Repeat the next sentence. Osterglocken blühen von April bis Mai. Das Maiglöckchen ist eine schöne, aber sehr giftige Pflanze. Repeat these three expressions. Ich weiß nicht. Again, ich weiß nicht. That's a very good expression to know. The second one, entweder oder. Entweder oder. Genau. Genau. All of these show up in the next sentence. Repeat. Das ist entweder ein Stiefmütterchen oder ein Weilchen, aber ich weiß nicht genau. Repeat the verb to sell. Verkaufen. Verkaufen. We've had the verb kaufen before to buy. Verkaufen is to sell. So, repeat. Man verkauft Lilien, Krokusse, Flieder und vergiss mein nicht hier. Good. Now repeat the new expressions used today again. Bedeuten. Was bedeutet das? Die USA. Besonders. Die Alpen. Zu Weihnachten. Blühen. Von bis. Verkaufen. Ich weiß nicht. Entweder oder. Genau. Good job. Auf Wiedersehen.